Using the crude oil international market and what is going, that is hovering above 60, 70, and 80 now, we discussed with them. We didn't just unilaterally when we were concerned the MTEF, the medium term expenditure framework. We agreed and we proposed a $6. I mean, they proposed even $5. We now say we settled for $6 to have raised the benchmark to 51 So this balance of $6 that we agreed with them and we passed the MTEF, which now at least uh, raises the revenue from at least from the oil aspect of it. We sat with them and we agree on a formula. So all these additions, what will, how many percentage goes to the National Assembly, I mean legislative arm, what goes to the executive and what goes to the judiciary. And it is pursuant to that agreement that whatever increases are there. Part of the executive too is there. But in some summary, I want the people to look at it in a perspective that we have a budget of 9.1 trillion. The National Assembly budget is 130 something billion, just 1.5 percent. And these are the police, the people that have constitutional right to oversight, to make sure that the executive does the thing within the framework of the uh, of the law. And then they spend 1.5 percent to oversee the 98.5%. Mm. And I mean, you think it is too much to put for that? Uh, Director General, I want to bring you in here because when, when we talk about the, the, the increase in the benchmark, you know, a lot of conversation around how should that increase be uh, allocated, etc. Now, the honorable member here today and also yesterday, who came and appeared yesterday, uh, have made the case that, look, since the benchmark has gone up, oil prices have gone up, we can afford to do more, we can spend more, and we can uh, commit more development projects to the grassroots. In your view, it, uh, it, does that tally with the, the, the real economics of the country at the moment, uh, given some of the deficits that we're running? Well, not quite. First of all, okay, even at 9.1 trillion naira, the Nigerian budget is still way below how much we really should be spending. If you look at our budget as a percentage of our GDP, even when you add the budgets of the states and local governments, the Nigerian budget, the aggregate uh, in a budget to GDP ratio, comes out to about 11, 12 percent. The average for our region is 22 percent. So the reality is that there are many important projects that don't make it into the budget simply because there are not enough you know, resources to allocate. And therefore, when we then have incremental revenues, it's important that the, you know, the priority order of the, the projects that didn't make it into the budget ab initio are considered. But let me speak specifically to this case because I was you know, party to all of those discussions. When we initially sent the uh, medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper proposing a $45 per barrel, remember this was prepared in July last year. Um, when the National Assembly actually considered the MTEF, when they passed the MTEF, they passed it at $47 per barrel. In the process of um, you know, appropriation as oil prices uh, kept um, you know, going up, the National Assembly said to us that they wanted to take the price up to $50 per barrel. We looked at it, $50 per barrel didn't seem unreasonable given the trend in oil prices. At $50, that yielded an extra $5 per barrel. We actually sat down with the, and agreed how this $5 per barrel was to be applied. And the idea was that the National Assembly would keep $2 per barrel, which was uh, you know, about 175 billion naira. And that it was then agreed that they would nominate projects by themselves 
to make up that amount. Of the $3 per barrel, the executive was required to propose how they intended to you know, apply that. And we proposed that $1.25 per barrel amounting to um, approximately 110 billion naira should be applied to reduce the deficit. And the balance of 152.6 billion naira to be applied to address some of the critical projects that didn't make it into the budget in the first place because of the limitation in resources. Uh, subsequently, the National Assembly made the decision to go up to $51 per barrel. We didn't know that until after they passed the budget. Um, and, you know, also in that, they said part of the extra one was applied to the um, making provision for the implementation of the basic health care provision fund, which we, uh, you know, fully supported, had no problem with. The crux of the matter is that we're above the additional 175 billion naira. Mm -hmm. It was thought that with that additional 175 billion naira and the 100 billion naira already provided for constituency projects, as a total of 275 billion that that was sufficient to address the specific projects that the National Assembly may want to uh, propose. And the, 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 what the president is unhappy with, and, and he said so clearly, mm. is that over and above this, the National Assembly still found it necessary to cut a total of 347 billion naira from you know, provisions of projects that executive had provided. And it's this 347 billion naira plus the 175 billion